Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Recently, I held a town hall in Calgary Lougheed, and the attendees asked me to deliver the following unanimous <coughs> messages to the NDP. They said, the debt should be repaid and the government should eliminate its deficit. They should cut personal, business, and carbon taxes, and the size of, of the Alberta government should be reduced. There should be a public sector salary freeze, no negotiated, no negotiated increases in public service contracts, and across-the-board spending controls. The government should renegotiate a better equalization agreement. The NDP should work with the energy industry and New West Partnership, not against them. Government spending over $30 million on advertising for the Climate Leadership Plan on light bulbs, shower heads, power bars, thermostats is a misuse of taxpayer money. And instead, job creation should be a top priority for this government. There should be no secrecy regarding the revamp of the education curriculum. Serenity's bill should be passed, and the NDP needs to start listening and stop taxing the average middle-class Albertan into non-existence. On this point, one constituent was so incensed, so incensed that they wrote this. Our voices are not being heard by this totally incompetent NDP government. They stand on higher ground in the belief that we as Albertans are accepting of the policies that have been shoved down our throats, but I will be silent no longer. As a single parent, I've struggled to make ends meet. I'm very proud I've stood on my own two feet and raised my children to be self-sustaining adults and proud Albertans. Please use me as an example of what a typical Alberta family is facing and tell the NDP they have done nothing to improve the quality of life of Albertans yeah, and tell them we do not accept this. Yours truly, Tracy. Mr. Speaker, the NDP would do well to listen to Tracy, the constituents of Calgary-Lougheed, and indeed all Albertans. Here, here, Thank here. you. Mr.